What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Stick Shift Hot Wheels. Today I have a very special unboxing for you. It is the Hot Wheels 2023 Redline Club 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL in none other than Specha Flame Oxblood. And this is the third recolor for the 55 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. I honestly wasn't quite sure what to make of this oxblood color. I still was thinking that maybe they should have just painted it regular spectral flame red, but this oxblood has a richness to it that just gives it a little bit of sophistication. So here's the box. On the back it says the 55 Mercedes Benz 300 SL has the look and performance that makes it a legendary vehicle. Between its history of winning races and stylish looks, this car quickly became a fan favorite. Equipped with opening golden doors and a detailed interior, this Hot Wheels replica gives the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL the respect it deserves. Sporting Spectra Flame Oxblood paint and Real Rider GT wheels, the red hot license plate is a perfect fit. A car this premium is packed out in an acrylic case with a full color ship case. Too bad it can't be driven. It's one of my favorite cars of all time, the 300 SL. Uh, it really is absolutely amazing. So here we go, without further ado, dun, dun, dun. here it is in all of its glory. Oh yes. Check that out. I love these wheels too. They have the perfect kind of classic car look to them with the knockoff center caps, the red hot license plate using a yellow license plate from the 50s. Nice touch Hot Wheels. This tan interior is interesting. I think they could have actually put a red interior in this like the silver car, but that looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's do this. I hate these stupid clip cases. God, they're so pointless. All it does is possibly scratch up the car. And yeah, what the fuck is that? There's definitely some, I don't know, weird pitting or something. Damn, this looks good. Why they can't just ship them in a goddamn blister it's beyond me? I mean, I don't need it in a stupid acrylic case for Christ's sake. You know? That's why you buy a carny case. You can display them all at once. You don't need a goddamn acrylic case. Save me the five dollars and the heartache of having to open these stupid cases up. I mean, this paint is so fragile that it's like you can't even, honestly, you can't even touch it uh, without scratching it or putting some kind of an imperfection on it. I mean, it's literally like you gotta open the car, put it in the case, and then just look at it. The Spectra Flame Oxblood, it's really cool. It's almost like a ruby red or something. It's got a little bit of pink in it or something. I don't really know what it has in it. It looks like it's a lighter shade than the C10 Chevy that's this color. It looks like it's lighter than the uh, 32 Ford that's painted this color. All right, let's, let's do this thing. really hate these stupid cases after 10 of these or so really starts to get old gets old quick oh yes it's absolutely gorgeous very nice so here we have the spectra flame oxblood mercedes-benz 300 SL with the 
Chrome 300 SL that uh, came out in 2021. Both cars feature a tan interior and opening gold wing doors. Interestingly, they both have different wheels and I didn't really realize that until I had both of them in hand. The Chrome car has these classic style kind of mini light looking wheels, but they're an old style of real rider, so the rubber is thick. The wheels on the Oxblood car are a lot larger, so the rubber is smaller, so it looks a little more modern, looks a little bit better. But overall, I think these are the only two Mercedes-Benz 300 SL RLC cars that exist. And the reason I say that is because the Spectra Flame olive version is dead to me. It's horrible. I don't even understand why they even produced it in Spectra Flame olive. It looks absolutely hideous. The car was never available in that color and it made absolutely no sense. This is an absolutely gorgeous RLC car. Next up, I will show you a couple other red vehicles. I have a Spectra Flame Oxblood C10 Chevy pickup, and I have the Spectra Flame Red Porsche 959 because, uh, well, let's just say, just because Hot Wheels says that a car is supposed to be a specific color does not mean that in actuality, it's actually that color. So here we have Spectra Flame Oxblood. If you will notice the keen observers, especially looking at the hood, oh my God, what do we have here? We have two cars that are supposedly Spectra Flame Oxblood, but guess what? It's not the same color at all. So everyone hemming and hawing online going, oh my God, it's Spectra Flame Oxblood. What the bloody hell are we gonna do? Because we don't want it in Spectra Flame Oxblood. Well, just because Hot Wheels names it that color doesn't mean it's the same paint color at all. Because look at this, you can see it coming around on the turntable here. The Mercedes is way lighter. It's more of a, I don't know, it has more of a pinkish hue to it. It's lighter, it's not as dark at all. I mean, look how dark it is on the front of this hood of the Chevy. I'm thankful that it's not this dark because this color would have been hideous on that car. Now, my question to Havos is, is why don't you just call it Spectra Flame Red? You don't have to call it Oxblood because it's not Oxblood. And also, I have the Porsche 959 here. So, uh, we're going to set this just off to the side here so you can still see it. And here's the Porsche. Now, what's interesting is the Porsche is, it's got even more pink in it, uh, if I'm honest. And it makes, I don't know, it makes the 300 SL look more like Spectra Flame Red than this Porsche does. I don't know, the Porsche has more pink in it, uh, which, means that I'm gonna go get a fourth car and we'll see what it looks like compared to something else now because now I thought that Porsche was supposed to be red and it's definitely not red. In the name of science, we do this for the name of Spectra Flame Science. Yes, yes we do. Okay, so here's the granddaddy of them all, the Big Bertha the blown delivery in Spectra Flame Red. And as you can see, wow, this is eye-opening. Eye-opening stuff, you've seen it here first, but uh, that Porsche is not Spectra Flame Red at all because the blown delivery is Spectra Flame Red. And I'm telling you that the Porsche has so much friggin' pink in it that it's very, very interesting. Wow. You don't have the cars next to each other. It's really hard to tell what 
what any of this is, really. I mean, it's so hard to know. That's what I've discovered with all of this Spectra Flame paint. And it's very, honestly, it's very alarming. I mean, I want to get all my Spectra Flame red cars out right now and line them up. I kind of want to see, you know, what did they call it from the factory and what does it look like? Because this is not Spectra Flame Red. This is Spectra Flame Red. These two cars are actually closer to one another. And this is not Oxblood, if that is Oxblood. So the 300SL looks very good. In other words, I feel sorry for all the poor chumps that didn't buy it just because of the paint color. And to be honest, I was actually on the fence about it because I knew what Spectra Flame Red looked like. And I knew I didn't want my 300SL to look like this. I didn't even want it to look like this. Wanted it to look like this. That's very, very interesting. Honestly, it's kind of surprising that Hobbyless is even naming these colors at this point because clearly that's not Spectra Flame Red unless there's different color variations of the color depending on how it was painted unless this is a light paint and there's a darker version depending on when the car was painted. But I don't know. I don't have multiple vehicles of this so I can't compare this with multiple cars. All I know is that it's absolutely drop dead gorgeous. It's shiny. It's shimmery. And I cannot believe that it's selling for $50. To be honest, I think this should be a $100 car. Um, this is going to be one of the best releases for RLC of 2023. And I think people are going to be kicking themselves for not picking one up brand new. And I think in a couple years, this thing is going to skyrocket. And I hope that the Spectra Flame Olive Turd of a color is going to depreciate and become basically worthless because uh, there's only been three releases of the 300SL. And to be honest, after this, I'm, I'm shaking my head as to what color they would even do. I suppose they could do like a light blue might be kind of nice. Maybe that steel blue might actually be really cool in this car if they do a black interior for once. Thank you, Hot Wheels, for hitting this one out of the park. This Spectra Flame Oxblood is an amazing color. The only other thing I'm wondering is, because the car has curves and the C10 does not, does that mean that that's why the 300SL looks lighter? I don't think so, because looking at the top of the hood of the 300SL and the top of the hood of the C10, and they're totally different, that's definitely an interesting, interesting thing to ponder. Hot Wheels created a tampo air with this car on the passenger side rocker panel. It's missing the Mercedes Benz script below the door and next to the fender vent. On the silver car, it's on both sides of the vehicle. On this car, it's only on the driver's side. It's like, come on, Hot Wheels, get your stuff together. Thank you for watching my review of the 2023 Hot Wheels RLC 300 SL. If you liked this video, you may also like to watch some of my other Hot Wheels RLC reviews. Have a great day. Keep cracking.